Why don't I uh, start just by addressing a couple of injury questions that you might have. Eric Kendricks was taken to the hospital here at Stanford. Uh, they wanted to check his liver. So far, the tests that they've done have come back negative. We're still waiting on one or two other things before they clear him, but right now it looks very positive. Um, uh, Connor McDermott dislocated his shoulder. Uh, they popped it back in out there on the field, um, and he tried to go again. He couldn't. And then Simon Goines had a uh, MCL. They taped it up. Uh, he tried to fight through it, and uh, he wasn't able to. So we had to shuffle our offensive line there a little bit, as you saw. Uh, that was just a, a really difficult loss for this football team. I thought we fought hard. Uh, you know, we struggled to get things going the way we're capable of getting things going offensively. And, uh, and that's not like us, you know. So we as coaches have got to go back and, and find out why and what and how we can get better. Uh, that's a very good Stanford football team, as we all know. But at the same time, you know, we're a good football team. And uh, we had, you know, we had some chances there late and we couldn't quite get it done, you know. And uh, sometimes it goes that way. The, the, the important thing is that uh, we all, as a, as a team and coaches, we look inward and we try to find the answers within. And I think that's what our guys will do. You know, we've been faced with a lot of adversity this year, and we've always responded very, very well to it. And I expect that we'll respond very well to this today. Uh, it doesn't get any easier for us, as I'm sure you'll all point out. Uh, but it's a great challenge. And those men in there are great competitors. And, uh, and I think that uh, when they get over this one, and we have, you know, like everybody, kind of a 24-hour rule. It's important that we put it behind us, learn the lessons, apply them going forward, and get on to to the next one. So that's what we will do. Uh, I'm very confident in this football team, and I'm excited to, to, to go to battle with them again next Saturday. Jim, is this the toughest defense you've seen this year? So far this year, uh, yes. Yes, it was. They, they said upstairs it was Kendrick's kidney. Is it, is it what did I say? You said liver. Liver, kidney, it was something down here. Yeah, I'm not a doctor. Should we go with kidney? We go with whatever they set up there. I think they'd have a better a better idea. It was, uh, what was it? Go with kidney. Kidney? kidney? Yeah. What did I say, liver? Yeah. Kidney, just kidney. But the, the important thing is really liver or kidney is that all the tests right now are coming back negative and you should be okay. In some sense, you, I mean, even when things didn't go great in the first half, you had to feel like the game was still left out for you. Yeah, we battled, Chris, you know, and, and it's not always going to go great. You know, you're not always going to run away with it. But we were in it until that last touchdown. You know, we were in it. We had our chances. And uh, we've got to find a way to capitalize on those chances in a difficult environment like that. And I think that's the next step for us. So it's the uh, toughest game. What was it about them that was so tough then? Well, they're solid. And, and they don't uh, they don't miss tackles. And they cover well. You know, with a, with some of the struggles that we had up front, you know, with moving guys around, they were able to capitalize on that. So, you know, we'll look at the film and, and we'll get better from it. We'll get better from it. It's in that he just didn't ever feel real comfortable. And I think that, once again, you can credit Stanford with that. You know, they did a nice job of covering things up. Uh, they did a nice job of, 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 I thought, containing his ability to run. I he broke out for a few, which is going to happen. But uh, they did a good job of, of putting dots on him in their rush and, and not letting him get out too often. How much did the shuffling on the offensive line, do you think, affect kind of the offense's rhythm, especially during well, the third quarter? Right? You know, I hate to make excuses, but I think it always, something like that always affects you. You know, it just does. There's no way around it. But if it's going to happen, we've got to be able to rise up and overcome it, you know, to be a, a, the kind of football team that we, we believe we're capable of becoming. So, yeah, yeah, it affects you, but you, you know what? you got to fight through it. That's what, that's what great teams do. 
Because there was a sense that this was a game that you could announce yourself. You, you win this game, you're right in the national championship conversation. Is there a disappointment at being close to that level and not getting there? No, because we don't live that way. That's that's what outside people do. We live game to game, day to day, play to play. You know, so we're just disappointed that we weren't able to get the win today. And uh, we're not really a big picture team. We let other people worry about that. So we've got to get off of this one within the next 24 hours and, and get to the next one. Do you guys think you were ready for that next level, or it, and it just didn't come together today? Uh, time will tell. As a road mark, though, I mean, does it give you an indication of what still needs to be done? Oh yeah, like every game. You know, I, I, I'm not the type that makes too much of any one game. I don't think any one game ever really defines you, whether you have arrived or you're not very good or you are very good. I think it's your body of work. So far, our body of work is pretty good. It's got to get better. And uh, at the end of the season, we'll see where we are. But, I, you know, I've said that before. I'm not into statement games one way or the other. You know, there's a process to building something. There's a process to going through a season. Uh, today, we weren't good enough. We'll get better. Did you hold Cassius out uh, early as punishment for his ejection last week? Uh, you know what, there's some things that I think are for public consumption. I think there's some things that should stay in-house, and that's just something that I believe should stay in-house. It seemed like the wise were kind of covered well throughout the game, uh, you know, for UCLA. Um, what did you see, you know, from Brett, especially not having that option over the middle throughout the game? I think that, you know, to some extent we probably missed Darius a little bit. Uh, you know, Darius is a, a guy that Brett's become very familiar with. But once again, that, that sounds like an excuse. Uh, they covered us up well. You know, they didn't just cover the wise. They, they covered our guys up well. They tackled well in space. Uh, that's a good football team. I want to give them credit. They deserve credit. How much do you think the run game being slowed in the last, especially in the last two weeks, has kind of put a little bit more pressure on Brett necessarily that you know, yeah. made, him, made him press, but just kind of... Well, I think Brett's capable of handling that pressure. I do. Uh, we certainly want to be able to run the ball better. Uh, we didn't run it very well today. It's something that we've got to continue to work on. You know, last week we, we threw it very well when we couldn't run it. And the reason we were able to throw it is they were stacking the box. Today, I thought Stanford just did a nice job with seven and eight man fronts of, or six man fronts, depending on what formation we ran to stop on our run. So it's a different game than last week. You know, it's a different issue why we didn't run the ball. Last week we didn't run the ball because they had everybody up there, so we threw it for 410 yards and won by 27 points. Today, we couldn't run it because they just were beating us up there, you know? And uh, so that's a different set of problems that we've got to address. Why did you decide to start Malcolm to do that? Just the personnel group we were in. You know, they had us backed up, uh, and so it's just the personnel group. That's. Why, you know, there's different players in different personnel groups, and sometimes the personnel group is dictated by the field position or situation. Did you think about using him a little bit more after you broke off that long run? Yeah, and we did. We used him some in the second half. You know, we got into a game where we needed, felt we needed to throw a little bit more. Uh, we've got good running backs. You know, Paul Perkins has done a nice job for us this year. Steven Manfro has done a nice job for us this year. Uh, you know, Damian Thigpen's coming back and making some plays for us. So, you know, like always, we're going to try to utilize all of those guys. We got we got Malcolm back in the game in the second half and gave him the ball a little bit and, you know, got stuffed up just like those other guys were getting stuffed up. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thanks, everyone.